Well, a former top judge has called for reform to a controversial rape law which allows men to use myths about women to beat charges. Rosalind Atkinson says the defence is a hangover from outdated attitudes and can deny women fair treatment. Josh Robertson has this exclusive report. Rosalind Atkinson presided over some of Queensland's most important criminal trials. She says when it comes to rape, the law should keep up with community standards. When I was a law student, a man could not be held criminally responsible for raping his wife. That's no longer the case, but the former Supreme Court judge says there's something else in rape law that needs to change. Accused rapists can argue they had an honest and reasonable but mistaken belief the sex was consensual. What it does is put the onus back on the idea that it doesn't really matter if you obtain consent so long as you think you have. Justice Atkinson says that can allow defendants to rely on myths about rape. She went for a walk with me, she allowed me to kiss her, she allowed me to touch her breast. I think it's probably a hangover from an old attitude reflecting myths about the way women behave. It's a legal loophole that she says could be tightened with a new test for what a reasonable person would do. Gold Coast woman Jane welcomes the former judge's call for change. Jane suffered life-threatening injuries in 2011, but the man who caused them was acquitted of rape using the defence. What happened to me was unfair and we can't go back and change that, but I'm just so pleased that we're starting to chip away at this. New research has found vulnerable complainants, including domestic violence victims, people with disabilities and children, have often been on the wrong end of this defence. Many of the cases involve violent, calculated, uh, repeat sexual offenders who are relying on this defence. The researchers say they found disturbing examples of injustice. And even where you have complainants being asleep or unconscious when an assault begins, you still have cases where the defendant is arguing, in some cases successfully, that they made a mistake. Any reform of the law is never inevitable. It requires people to speak about it, think about it, work on it and make the change. After the ABC reported Jane's story last year, the state government sought submissions from legal groups. The Attorney General says their views are still under consideration. Josh Robertson, ABC News.